All right, we've been doing back to back laptop videos on the channel, right? Consumer series, notebooks, gaming series. But today in the house, I have something completely different to show you people. It's a business oriented laptop. Lenovo's all new ThinkPad T14 Gen 5 Edition 2024, guys. So, a lot of people might be like, Vimal, bro, what's the difference between a business oriented laptop and a regular consumer lineup of laptop? Well, business grade laptops are specially made for like MNCs, corporates, and you know, office goers, and for these sort of people. And for you people, reliability durability and security are like very important right you'll get all of these on this business grade laptops and on top of that this is Lenovo's Gen 5 2024 ThinkPad series right you're getting much more improvements as well so this laptop has like a very rugged and durable body and on top of that it is also like military standard 810H certified you're also getting powerful hardware featuring Intel Core Ultra CPUs not to miss out their NPU as well Intel AI boost and these laptops are also like Intel V Pro certified like how on consumer grade laptops you get like intel evo certification right similarly for business grade laptops you get something known as intel v pro certification and intel v pro certified laptops offer like much more improved security both hardware level and software level you're getting improved reliability better performance and something known as remote management as well and today in this video we will be covering all of these features it's gonna be like a very knowledgeable video guys so make sure to watch it till the end so without wasting any more time let's quickly get started with the unboxing and on that note i forgot to mention i'd like to thank lenovo and intel for sponsoring this video so our brand new business laptop from lenovo came in this sort of packaging very simple packaging as you can see you just have the thinkpad branding on the front side and a tiny lenovo logo over here going to the side here you can check out all of its details and hardware configuration the variant we'll be checking out today is called as thinkpad t14 gen 5 2024 edition and as soon as you open it there you go we actually have a leaflet over here which includes some user manual just make sure to read that for all the information keeping that aside i forgot to mention this laptop comes in like two different colors gray and black edition and today in the house we have the black edition let me just quickly take it out and show you how it looks like oh my god now that is what i'm talking about look at that beautiful matte black finishing we'll come back and talk about the design and looks in a moment keeping that aside you're also getting a 65 watt type c slim power adapter included plus a main squad for the adapter so that was our quick unboxing part. Now let me give you a closer look at the ThinkPad and first of all talk about the design and build quality. So there you go, here's how the new ThinkPad T14 Gen 5 looks like. And this laptop is available in like two different colors. You get a grey edition and this is the black edition guys. And I have to say black edition looks very nice. I mean, you're getting a very clean and modern looking design. There is nothing on the top lid over here. Just the Lenovo Metal Badge logo on the lower right corner and ThinkPad branding to the top side. That's it. But I do have to mention, since you're are getting like a matte black sort of finishing right it does attract a bit of fingerprints on the top lid so you might have to keep cleaning it once in a while but apart from that if you ask about the build quality build quality of the laptop is very good and one more point i do have to mention is leno wants to contribute to the overall sustainable environment and for that sake they've actually used like recycled material in the body despite using that right it actually looks and feels very nice guys you won't feel that it is actually made of recycled material laptop definitely feels solid and durable and not to miss out it is also military standard 810h rated if you ask about the weight laptop is also like quite light i would say it's only around like 1.38 kgs so you can definitely take it around not an issue at all what i'll do is i'll give you like a closer look and talk about all the available connectivity ports on our model starting off from the left side you're getting two usb type c ports that even support thunderbolt and a battery charging indicator is also there a full sized hdmi port is available followed by a usb 3.2 type a port available and a 3.5 mm audio jack is also there there is nothing on the front side and going to the other side here you have some more ports which include one more usb 3.2 type a port an ethernet lan port is available and a kensington lock beside the ports you see this tiny cutout over here well some of the models of the thinkpad actually support like nano sim card as well so if you actually go for that variant you can even install a sim card in your laptop for 4g connectivity and that's it these are all the available connectivity ports on our model plenty of ports i would say get your job done for day to day sort of requirement and here's how the bottom profile of the laptop top looks like again as i've told you you're getting like polycarbonate bottom panel only and lots of cutouts and vents for air circulation basically to keep your laptop running cool you've got rubber foot pads on all the corners and wait a second i haven't told you about the hardware upgradability right our particular variant comes with 32 gb of ddr5 ram clocked at 5600 megahertz that too in dual channel configuration and yes the ram on board is like very easily upgradable up to like 64 gb if you ask about the storage our particular variant features 512 gb of pci gen 4 ssd 
And yes, you're also getting one more M.2 slot as well. And you can easily expand the storage up to 2TB, not an issue at all. So that's it, our complete overview on the exteriors of the ThinkPad T14 Gen 5. Let me just quickly open up the laptop and show you how the interiors look as well. There you go, here's how the laptop looks like and boy, I do have to mention, ThinkPad looks absolutely beautiful in this matte black finishing guys. Starting off with the upper half section, as I've told you, ThinkPad T14 Gen 5 is available in like multiple variants. You get IPS panel, OLED panel is also available. Choice is completely up to you depending on your budget and requirement. Our particular variant features a 14 inches 16 by 10 aspect ratio, Full HD 1080p IPS 60Hz display and look at the bezels as well, very slim bezels on almost all the sides. And at the top side you're getting a full hd 5 megapixel camera with a discrete ir sensor as well and yes the laptop also has support for windows hello as well and not to miss out you're also getting an integrated physical privacy shutter as well included so that was about the upper half section and coming down to the lower half section well let me just give you a closer look and first of all talk about the keyboard and the touchpad so the all new gen 5 edition of the thinkpad t14 features an improved keyboard basically you're getting more number of tactile markings on the keyboard which helps out all the people with like visual impairment to easily find the accurate keys they are looking for. So this is definitely an added benefit. But apart from that, overall layout and the style is like pretty much the same. You're getting a white LED backlit chiclet keyboard and quality of the keyboard on this laptop is like really good. It feels quite comfortable when you're using it. I've been using this laptop for the last couple of days and had a really nice experience on this keyboard. All the keys felt nice, offered a tactile and clicky experience. Key cap quality is also really good. If you can observe closely, key caps have a nice curved design that give you a very comfortable experience while using and not to miss out as i've told you it is also white led backlit and brightness can be easily adjusted on the go using the function and the spacebar key and coming over to the touchpad, touchpad quality is also very nice. You're getting a premium glass-like mylar cover touchpad that easily recognizes all my inputs and gestures, didn't face any sorts of dead zones anywhere. And quality of these left and right click buttons are also nice. I really like these dedicated buttons that you get on the ThinkPad edition laptops. And one more main highlight I forgot to mention is, yes, the ThinkPad series also features an integrated fingerprint reader into your power button on the laptop. So moving on, let's talk about the display quality and also the built-in speakers as well. At the beginning, as I've told you, this Gen 5 edition of ThinkPad T14 features like multiple variants of displays. You get from WUXJ format to 2.8K resolution, IPS panel or OLED panel. It's all up to you. Even touch display panel variants are also available. Today in the house, we have a 14-inch variant that actually features a WUXJ resolution, basically 1920 by 1200 in 16 by 10 aspect ratio and has like IPS level panel with 60 Hertz refresh rate. And I'm telling you right, I've been using this laptop for the last couple of days for like basic office sort of usage, watched like couple of videos on YouTube and some movies as well on Netflix and Prime Video and overall display quality is like really good guys. There was good amount of detail no matter what sort of content you're watching, especially if you're reading like text on blogs or website, right? Everything is like crisp and clear, easily readable. Contrast levels are also nice and decent black levels as well. And coming to the colors, the panel actually supports like 100% sRGB color gamut range and Overall color accuracy, color reproduction were like on point guys. It was producing like rich and beautiful looking colors. But one thing I have to mention is, I felt the color temperature of the panel was slightly towards greenish side. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but again, this is my personal experience. Keeping that aside, and if you ask about the brightness, brightness of the panel is also like really good. It can easily hit up to 300 nits and had no issues checking out the panel, even in like bright sort of situations. 178 degree wide viewing angle, picture look the same no matter from which angle you're viewing. Plus, it is also anti-glare coated as well and cuts down any sort of unnecessary distractions, reflections or glares. On the overall, I'm telling you right, for the price that you're paying, you're definitely getting like a satisfactory display panel on this laptop. Keeping that aside, let me also tell you about the speakers as well. You're getting built-in stereo speakers, each of two watts. So totally you can expect around like four watts of audio output. And yes, it also supports Dolby audio. And audio quality of these built-in speakers is also like really good. You're actually getting like front firing speakers, right, right beside the keyboard. So overall experience was like much more enhanced, I would say. Vocal clarity was nice. Treble quality was also decent with silky smooth high frequency response. And you know, overall audio experience was like very satisfactory for the price that you're paying. Keeping the nitty gritty stuff aside, I know you people are waiting for this part. How is the overall performance of the laptop in day to day sort of scenario? So before we get there, first of all, let me tell you about the hardware configuration and specs of our particular variant. Again, as I've told you, this laptop is available in like multiple variants powered by Intel's Core Ultra CPUs. Today in the house, our variant features Intel's Core Ultra 7 165U CPU. This is a 12 core 14 thread CPU with a max turbo clock of up to 4.9 gigahertz. And again, as I've told you, this is still based on like performance 
Intelligence Hybrid Architecture. So unlike the older gen CPUs where you used to get two clusters of CPUs, P cores and E cores, here you're actually getting one more set of low power E cores that automatically assign respective tasks and get your job done much more efficiently. Plus not to miss out that all new NPU neural processing unit called as Intel AI Boost, specifically designed to handle all your AI workloads and applications. I have been using this laptop for the past few days and laptop was performing very well guys, swift, snappy and quite responsive. I was running the laptop with variety of applications like having a bunch of edge tabs open in the background, browsing the web, running 1080p videos on YouTube and simultaneously doing a bit of Photoshop. Nothing seemed to slow it down. Muska performance is what I can say. Plus it was great for like office presentations as well because you're getting like a full 180 degree hinge right? Very useful even for like conferences and meetings as well. And not to miss out, main highlight is it's Intel V Pro certified. Intel V Pro platform offers a lot of benefits which include enhanced security, improved performance and also remote management of devices. We've already discussed about the performance part so let me tell you about the security you're getting over here. ThinkPad L14 Gen 4 comes with ThinkShield hardware and software components that too with integrated discrete TPM. You also get like multi-factor authentication, fingerprint support is also there, full disk encryption and remote secure erase feature as well. So your data is like fully safe at all times on your laptop. If you look at the software side, like how you get Lenovo Vantage on the regular lineup of laptops, right? On this business laptop, you're getting something known as Lenovo Commercial Vantage. This is like an all-in-one hub and gives you complete control over your device settings or system updates, drivers and BIOS updates and also warranty related information as well. And yes, you're also getting some battery standby settings as well. You can generally leave that at smart. If you look at the display related settings, right? You can even adjust the color temperature of the display in case if you're not satisfied by out of the box results. So a bit of display customization is also possible, including blue light filter to reduce strain on your eyes when you're using it for longer periods of session. And last but not the least, you also have some hidden keyboard functions available, which you can access from commercial Vantage app. And now coming to the operating system, ThinkPad T14 Gen 5 comes with Windows 11 Pro operating system out of the box. And you people already know about Windows 11, right? It offers like a very clean and modern UI with a revamped interface and lots of upgrades and improvements over the previous gen. Plus ton of smart features as well. One such feature that I use on a day-to-day -day basis is its native voice dictation support in Windows 11, which you can easily access using Windows plus head shortcut just like this. Ah, moving on, now let's talk about its main highlights. Microsoft Copilot integration. Copilot in Windows is an AI powered assistant that answers any sort of questions you throw at it, gets you info from across the web, has generative AI built in, full of creative results at the tip of your hand. You can easily access Copilot from the bottom right corner of your taskbar, or you can simply press Windows plus C shortcut as well. Or in my case, right, my laptop has like a dedicated Copilot key on the keyboard. Simply click that for one click access. And as I've told you, you can basically ask any sort of question. Simply type in your text in this command box, hit the enter button and that's it. It gets you your info. And let me tell you, Copilot is very smart. Not just basic info, it is powerful enough to generate like a full code for any sort of program you ask it. I'm telling you right, I have a lot of fun with Microsoft Copilot. If you people have it, do try it out and share your experience as well in the comment section down below. We're almost coming to an end, so let me also talk about the battery life. On board, you're getting a four cell 52.5 watt hour lithium polymer battery and battery life was kind of decent, I would say. Actually, a bit improved compared to the previous gen ThinkPad. So on a moderate sort of usage with the brightness set to around like 50 55 percent and doing day-to-day -day sort of casual tasks maybe like browsing the web watching some videos on youtube and also doing office related applications like checking out your mails text editing a bit of photo editing right with these sort of tasks and applications i was easily getting around like seven and a half to eight hours of battery life good thing is laptop also supports rapid charging with a 65 watt type c adapter included so you can easily charge your laptop up to 80 percent within just one hour guys so definitely tops up the battery quickly and that is pretty much it. Time to wrap it up our video on Lenovo's all new ThinkPad T14 Gen 5 2024 edition. I hope you people got all the information you're looking for in this video. And wait a second, I haven't told you about the price, right? So the pricing for the ThinkPad T14 Gen 5 starts at around 92,000 rupees in the Indian market and goes up depending on the hardware configuration and variant you go for. I'll leave all the links for that in the description box below. You can easily go to Lenovo.com website and check out all these details. If you all enjoyed watching it, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.